Hi, I'm Mani from Boo's Pudding. Welcome to another edition. We are in quarantine, so my sister is not here, but I wanted to show you how to make Mani's corny cornbread. Everyone loves this recipe. Even people who can't cook make it and it comes out phenomenal. So let's get started. <music> tablespoons of sugar, three eggs, one box of Jiffy cornbread mix, eight ounces of Philadelphia uh, cream cheese, but it just needs to be softened, not melted. Um, one stick of butter melted, and use salt, the salt one, not the unsalted, and cream style corn. One can, which is about 15 ounces is fine, or you can make your own and this is going to be another episode where I show you how to make the Southern cream style corn um, from scratch. All right, all right. so let's so start. you're going to just go ahead and combine all your ingredients into a bowl. All right, and for my vegetarian friends out there, they have a vegetarian Jiffy cornbread mix that you can use, so it's all good. All right, you're gonna crack the three eggs, and there really is no uh, right or wrong way to do this. Just get it all in a bowl. Right. Combine the sugar, combine the butter. All right, get your Philadelphia cream cheese in there. And I'm saying Philadelphia, but you can use any cream cheese that you want, right? Just make sure it's eight ounces. And then the cream style corn. So if you make it from scratch, this is about two cups. And inside of a can, it's just that one can. I've used both and you can't go wrong with either one. All right, and now you got it all in here and we're just gonna take our whisk or you can use a um, you can use the actual mixer. It's up to you. I whisk it because I get to see. I don't want it to be too watery, right? When you whisk it too much, um, and I'm looking at the consistency, and it starts to blend really fast anyway. All right. So once I mix it, I don't know why I was going in the other direction. But yeah. But once I mix it up. I don't know if you can see this. Bring it up to the camera. I'm just going to put it inside of my pan, which I already have pre-greased here. Um, floured, right? You wanna grease it up, put a little flour so it doesn't stick. Um, this is the pan I always use. It is doo -doo 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 -doo, um, nine by nine, I wanna say. All right nice deep dish and this is going to rise in the oven all right so like I say you don't want to over mix it but you do want to make sure that that Jiffy cornbread mix is in there there's nothing dry everything is well mixed um, and I'm going to pour it into the pan So now you can see, right, the consistency, everything is nice and well blended. And I'm gonna pour it into my bowl. And I'm using this, but I'm gonna get my spatula. All Now for my fancy people, if you want to make 
um, your cornbread from scratch and go all the extra mile, you can feel free to do that. Normally I'm making this uh, by the pan loads for other people or for an event. So Jiffy Cornbread Mix, it works for me. All right. Okay, and then just even it out a little bit. And now it's ready for the oven. It is going to taste amazing. All right, so you're gonna put it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 30 to 35 minutes. You do wanna monitor it because everyone's oven is a little bit different. Um, so when it gets really golden brown, and you're able to take a toothpick and put it in the middle and take it out, you know that it's done. All right, so we're back and the corn cornbread is already out the oven. Um, I have to put some pictures before, <laughs> before we already cut into it. But you see how it's nice and brown? Um, it goes perfect with fish, and that's what my family loves to eat. It's fried fish and corn cornbread, so that's what we're having tonight. Um, and some vegetables, we'll figure that out, maybe some salad. <laughs> anyway, if you can see it, roll in, you see the layers, you see the texture. Alright, and I'm still cooking actually, so as much as I would like to eat this, I'm trying to finish up because everybody's hungry. So anyway, if you like what I just made, please make sure you like, subscribe, comment, love, and make sure that uh, if you make it, let us know how it came out for you, okay? So anyway, this is another episode of Blue's Pudding. Thank you so much, Puddings, for uh, watching. Love you. Stay home. Stay safe.